Now, we turn to campaign 2014 and the Providence mayoral race. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at the plans all three candidates have for the capital city. Vincent Buddy Cianci, Jorge Alorza, and Daniel Harrop are just 24 hours away from their first Eyewitness News Providence Journal debate. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright has more from the mobile newsroom. We told you last week about Vincent Buddy Cianci's vision for Providence if he becomes mayor. Today, his opponent, Jorge Alorza, unveiled his plan. Democratic candidate Jorge Alorza is in the number two spot behind independent candidate Vincent Buddy Cianci in the Providence mayoral race, according to a recent WPRI 12 Providence Journal poll. But with about 20% of voters still undecided, Alorza wants to be in the number one spot. If you want a mayor who will move Providence forward, I am your candidate. Elorza says improving education is one of his highest priorities. It's time we make the appropriate investments in our schools so that we provide every child in Providence a world-class education. Elorza says doing so would lift children out of poverty. We also have to reduce the amount of violence that we have here in our city. And we need more officers on our streets. Alorza says he also wants to double the city's export economy to create jobs. Last month, Cianci said his vision for Providence starts with revitalization. I'll make expansive and effective use of the state law that allows the city to clear titles and liens on tax delinquent properties. I will also propose legislation that will allow the city to do the same on abandoned properties and lots. Meanwhile, the Republican candidate for mayor, Daniel Harrop, says the city can't move forward with its current financial financial challenges. He says he'd consider putting the city into receivership before tackling large projects. With the Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News. All three candidates in the Providence mayoral race face off tomorrow for their first live televised debate. Eyewitness News and the Providence Journal are teaming up for more exclusive campaign 2014 coverage. There are no tickets left, but you can watch it live at 7 p.m. over on Fox Providence and streaming on WPRI.com.